Orale. What's up, homies? On today's episode of Build Busters, we're gonna bust one of our own builds. We call this build the Tony Montana. I think you're gonna like it. Alright, here's the build. Alright, this one right here was created by our own evil genius, uh, Chino Gambino. And we initially started with gunner specialization to synergize with the uh, Palisade Steelworks armor on kill. With these two, you're going to get 20% armor on kill. And if you look, we have 1.7 million armor. 20% of that, you do your own calculations, whatever it is. In about um, five kills, you will be at full armor. That's all I know. Now, highly recommended you use the Ouroboros. Why? High ass RPM. Now, this is going to be kind of a bitch to get because you do have to do the incursion to do it. And if you have a great relationship with R and Jesus, then congratulations. You're one of the lucky fucking few. Otherwise, I recommend going on Discord where there are some clans that do uh, incursion carries and they'll be able to help you get one of these babies. I, as my secondary, decided to choose the Black Market AKM. As you can see, mine is God Rolled, and I'm using Strained. Um, and the reason for that is just that uh, it's got 124k damage. Now, the reason for that is because I have it at Expertise 19. Now, I also have my Ouroboros at Expertise 19, because I use both of these weapons in a whole lot of builds. However... You do not need to have them at Expertise 19. Reason being is because the Ouroboros, the reason why I'm using it, is for the high RPM. And if you use a Black Market AKM, you do not have to have it at Expertise 19 to know that this bitch is going to hit like a Mack truck. All right. Next, I have an M45A1 simply because it's one of my favorite weapons. It's got an 18, uh, ma 18 round magazine, uh, and it has the most modifications of any of the pistols that are out there with uh, four little fucking things right here. So it's got some, uh, some versatility to it, and that's really the only reason why I use it instead of the higher hitting uh, D50. Plus the RPM is 310 versus 150, and as you can see, the M9 here hits at 350, but you only get two mod slots. I need to shoot fast. Next, I have the Heligard Chill Out Mask. This is not a requirement. You can have a Heligard Mask with either crit chance or crit damage in any of these two slots and swap out the crit damage and the crit chance in order for you to get the same thing. The only reason why I got the Chill Out Mask is out of sheer fucking convenience. That's it. Simply that. Because with the chill out mask, I can have three crit chance slots filled up right here. But as you can see right here, I'm using it as if it was a regular ass Gila Guard mask. Now, as you can see, I was fucking lucky and this thing dropped for me. God rolled because I have a magnificent relationship with Iron Jesus, uh, unlike Chino. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that was just my good fortune. So you don't have to wait till Christmas, homies. You can farm for the Heligard, Heligard mask, and you cannot craft Heligard unless you have the blueprints, and I don't know how to get the blueprints for that shit, other than in maybe Descent. I don't know. I'll let you guys, homies, discuss that in the comment section. Next, Ninja Bike Backpack. Resourceful talent. If you do not know about the Ninja Bike Backpack, you need to have a relationship with the Ninja Bike Backpack, because while many of the jaded content creators out there are gonna poo poo and shit all over this backpack let me tell you that this ninja bike backpack with providence defense and sokolov alone is worth its weight in fucking gold we're not even going to discuss that you only need to use three gear sets instead of four all right we're just going to ignore that all right and just know your relationship with this backpack this thing is going to be like a fucking pocket pussy for you. Trust me. All right. I, of course, have mine optimized to level 15. 
Uh, and it's at uh, Expertise 15. But again, because I use this bitch in a lot of fucking builds. Next, Cheska Chess Piece with Unbreakable. Now, mm. this might be a little difficult to get. As you can see, I was fortunate enough to get a Cheska test piece, Chess Piece with God Rolls. And that was probably a shitty talent. That was just, again, my magnificent relationship with RNG Jesus. If you don't have that, that means you got to sacrifice more agents in conflict than the Dark Zone. But uh, I got this one. It is definitely one of the important pieces to have um, because you're going to need that Unbreakable. Why? Because it's a giant headache. It's a giant headache for your enemies. Because at 1.7 million armor, in PvP, this will give you 50% of that back. So it's a giant headache. Why not Strained, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this is a build for survivability. That strained? is what this is designed for. I huh? think you meant obliterate. Oh, sorry, obliterate. My bad. I stand corrected. Obliterate. Because this build is designed for survivability. All right? Next. Second piece of Cheska. Pe uh, Cheska. Now, I have mine with armor rolled on because I was lucky enough to get a double crit. And as you can see, I have tried to optimize this. But it is not completely optimized. And let me tell you, with the video that we have, video footage we have for you, you will see that you do not actually have to have a whole lot of this shit fucking optimized for you because this motherfucker will work. This is gonna put in as much work as you put in. This motherfucker is a fucking teammate. All right, it's like having a homie next to you. Next, we have an Aegis piece right here. Armor, crit damage. And if you're watching this video, I know you have the blueprint. All you need to do is craft this bitch and Scythe, done. Roll crit damage on that bitch and you are halfway, or actually one sixth of the way to getting this build done. <laughs> Next, Steelwork Knee Pads Palisades, or Palisades Steel, whatever. You know, you can read. I don't have to read for you. Again, if you are watching this right now, during this season, you can also craft these knee pads. The armor is already going to be on there for you, homies. All you need to do is get one of these to fall for crit chance or crit damage, and you are gold. All right, so these two pieces are the easiest ones that you're going to have to get because you don't have to farm for them. You can craft them. All right, how difficult is this one to get? going to be a bitch. Might take about a month. How hard is this one to get? Ooh, that one's going to be a bit of a bitch to get. Not going to lie to you, homies. We're all about transparency on our fucking build busters here. This one right here, same fucking thing. Same right here. And this one, as long as you got it to damage the targets out of cover, let me tell you, you're fucking gold. Now, what I recommend is that you go and you get a bunch of homies to farm with you. And, you know, Strength and fucking numbers. Know what I'm saying? All right. Now, let me tell you the secret to this build. The secret to this build isn't so much um, that you have five armor pieces here and two weapon cores, the Ouroboros, and an AKM. No, no, no. Let me show you the real secret. The part of this build that no one's going to fucking notice. Sure, you have 1.7 million armor, but as I'm sure some of you keen-eyed motherfuckers have noticed... I have 1.3 million health. And now you're probably asking, But homeboy, how did you get so much fucking health? Let me show you. Ninja bike backpack right here is the fucking key to the entire fucking secret. This right here is your leaven herbs and spices. Bam. Heligard chill out mask or Heligard pieces. 60% health, homies. Cheska. Three pieces. 90% health. Oh my god. Have you been sleeping on that, homies? Yes, you fucking have. Because all you've been looking at is crit chance and hazard protection. Aegis. Oh my goodness. 70% health with two pieces. Do you need two pieces? I don't fucking think so. Ninja Bike Backpack says you only need one. But wait. There's more. 
Tampa Safe Steel Works Knee Pads, 10% armor on kill, 60% health, coupled with the gunner specialization, and you get 20% armor on kill for one of the ultimate survivability builds in the dark zone right now. Nobody knows, and if you're new to the game and trying to get your fucking dick wet in the dark zone, this is the build that will fucking help your ass out. Now, I recommend it in a team, but as a solo, you know what? It does okay. Chino, as the inventor of this, you elucidate us. Alright, um, what am I explaining? You're fixing this in post anyway, so. Dude, dude, you, oh, you, in, dude, you, in, dude, you were high and you invented this. What was the inspiration for this build? Start from the beginning. <laughs> gotcha. All right. And. No, no, so you got like, so I was high on weed. <laughs> right, right. No, I, I am. On your action. All right. Uh, action. So I was there one night really really high in weight and i was thinking you know what with all these buffs to health why not take advantage of it so the whole idea is to stack as much health as you can uh while maintaining a decent amount of armor and dealing damage at the same time you know so um this is what i came up with well the one that homeboy has on uh, i came up with this is a variation of the uh, the health build, the Tony Montana build, as we call them. The idea for swapping out uh, one piece of Vicaros for Palisades is that yes, I'm sacrificing a little bit less. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sacrificing a little bit of health uh, and um, armor on kill for just a tad more armor and um, another uh, weapon core with Vicaros. So. The way I have it configured with this one is that everything is virtually the same as the build that Homeboy has on, except instead of using a Palisades piece, I have my Picaris holster. Now on these, you'll notice on, on, on this build and the weapons and the gear that I have on, you'll notice that I'm level 17 expertise on most of them, on a lot of them. And it's because I use these pieces in a lot of builds as Homeboy stated. My chill out mask is at expertise 17. My ninja bag backpack is at expertise 17. My Vicar Solcer is at expertise 17. So are my both my main weapons. The Orboros and a Black Market AKM with strained. The reason why I have this many red cores is because I want to be able to deal as much damage as I can while you know still maintaining that um that Goldilocks um, zone for survivability. And this is what I came up with. So there you go. Something that was brought to brought to uh, our attention recently is that you have 1.6 million armor. You have 1.1 million health. And uh, something that it occurred to us is when someone is shooting you, with a capacitor. The capacitor doesn't have damage on health. So once they get through your armor, once they get through your armor, they're going to have 1.1 million health or 1.3 million health to get through. So, Chino, elucidate us. Why did you call this the Tony Montana build? You guys remember at the end of scarface if you've seen scarface where you know he he does he does a bunch of booger sugar and then um he gets uh he gets all shot up by uh sosa's men or, or not yeah sosa's men and he's just there he's standing and he's getting shot at and he's still alive you know he says i take all your fucking bullets i take all you fucking I'm still standing huh? i take all your bullets that's why because you could take a shitload of damage and, and survive and dish out a lot of damage at the same time. So that's why I called it the Tony Montana. Because you're taking all their bullets and you're still standing. 
Homies, let me tell you something. If you are Expertise 25 and you get these pieces to Expertise 25, you, are, you will be a next level bullet sponge. I tell you. I tell you. So let's get to some fucking numbers, shall we? All right. Here we're going to go from uh, named uh, to an elite. Now, the reason why I always choose an elite, I reset that. Every time I choose an elite, is because an elite has about 9.9 .9 million armor, right? Which is almost 10. Now, as a sniper, I've done some calculations. If I could do 10 million on an elite target, you multiply a sniper rifle's PvP damage, which is 0.26, you can do 2 million damage to a player character. Or I should say a player. Or, you know, these NPCs that think they're their main characters. Um, but every weapon has its individual multiple. All right? Assault rifles have the highest multiple at 0.39. All right? So if I take my AKM right here and I take a shot, you would multiply 262,839 by 0.36. Yes, 0.36. I know I said 0.39. It's 0.36 for your per bullet damage roughly. All right? Or you take your DPS, which is more convenient. So you multiply 4.3 million by 0.36, and that's how much damage you're going to do to a player character. Now, in SMG, that's 0.33. All right? So we take our Oboros. Three 3.5. You multiply that by uh, 0.33, and you get your damage for an Oroboros. Now, yeah, it's not that high. And you could add a weapon core if you like, because, I mean, you're rocking 1.3 million health. But our recommendation is if you are going to rock another weapon core, you got to be at expertise 25, because that will compensate for your lack of one armor core. And any one of these could be a weapon core if you're at Expertise 25. Now, I have my Ninja Bike Backpack at Expertise 15 because, again, I use this bitch in a lot of builds. But, again, not a fucking requirement. So let's go raw dog the Dark Zone with this motherfucker, shall we? Whiskey. Let's go to the Dark Zone. All right, here we go. Don't judge me, homies. <laughs> you know, whiskey, you don't have to be quiet. You 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 can talk. Just keep it PG, you know, for the for the, for the children. Got it. <laughs> Pulse out.
Your shit's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna steal it. Now, I don't know if you homies noticed in that 1v1, but if not for the 1.3 million health, he would have had me dead to rights. Oh, I can't leave whiskey. Never leave your wingman, Maverick. <laughs> All right, good to go. Landmark cleared. Now detecting contaminated gear. There's three. Oh, shit. He had his fucking stacks. I uh, was using Stryker. Uh, Ourobor, uh, yeah. Umbra, Umbra. He's using Umbra. I don't know, dude. I was on fire and it just felt like it dropped. Yo, I think that might have been the other guy. Now detecting contaminated gear. Hostile on your drone. Detected. Safe area detected. Road protocol deactivated. There's three. There were three. Where's the other one? I, I killed one. Or... I don't remember now. Oh, one just popped out. He's almost dead. There you go. As you can see, homies, in a team situation, this build will carry its weight for you. It will not carry you, but it will carry your team's weight if it needs to. Yeah, I just not gonna give up it. Nope. That's fine. This is what we trained for. Oh, I ran back in. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for all his other homies to respawn. 
so they can come at us. He might be by himself. They're close. Pulse resistant. All right. PVP space. Gmar! I'm heading over there. Gmar! You need to accept the Rick. Ready? You need to ready up, Gmar! I already readied up. What the heck? Why is it taking forever? There you are. Oh, what the fuck? That was oh, very nice. Oh, I know, no, we're getting transferred to another server. Hopefully, it'll be busy. Access complete. Negative. It's not busy. Well, that sucks. Fair enough. All right. Entering invaded dog zone. Where are you guys at? Coming out of the Dude, I'm still loading. I was already in there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird because I see you guys are already inside the dark zone. Now I'm stuck at 9%. Yep. There we go. You already just had to fuck it. Easy drop. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, no you more supply do. drop. What the That's fuck? my MO, man. Fuck your way in, fuck your way out. Oh, there Where is one there. Never mind. And this is why we fuck with you, Gmar. Because Easy. fuck your way in, fuck your way out is your MO. All right, whiskey. Mhm. Mm you got your armor damage build. Mhm. Mm All right. Here we go. This is whiskey's build. Whiskey, care to explain your build? Okay, basically it's ninja bike, so two piece Provident, one piece Brazos, and then I switch back and forth from um, contractors and. Um, boxes or um, Benris and One Piece Walker Harris. So I get 60% um, basically almost 60% crit chance, 140 something crit damage, and 110 headshot damage with 25% damaged armor. Now we're going to be put, we're going to be putting this bitch up against the Tony Montana. All right, ready? Ready! Set! Ready! What the hell? Vital signs critical. Damn. Got murked. Agent Sorry, killed. I need to warm up. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm warmed up. Come on, Whiskey. Let's do this. Sorry, folks. I just woke up. What, you just woke up? Yeah. Oh. Waiting for the uh, recording time. <laughs> just waiting for the other alarm to go. <laughs> Agent down. Oh, no. Agent final signs. Zero. Max armor, max armor region with headshot. Hey! Set! <laughs> why is it so why does it sound so far away? Serious <laughs> trauma. Is that a thing that you have set up? His mic would pop when he yells it out loud. Oh. I, I was gonna say, finish him! <laughs> I was gonna say, finish him! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's see. Tony Montana against Tony Montana. Oh, I heard <laughs> the fight of the century. <laughs> Enemy 
GG's. So as you can see, on the 1v1, hey, listen, you know what? At some point, your skills got to come in and help you out. If you don't have the jukes, uh, this build is not going to carry you. However, it will get you pretty far in a team situation. Like if you have somebody who's got future initiative, man, you need to kiss that motherfucker. Uh, give that dude a blowjob or uh, lick that girl's fucking clitoris whatever have you because let me tell you that'll get you right over that hump that you need to get to in order to compensate for your lack of expertise level if you are at expertise level 25 and we see you with this build trust me the determined and ranger sniper pills are gonna be coming out ayumu is gonna be your <laughs> It's going to be your worst nightmare. Si, senor. <laughs> that's Sorry, right. <laughs> no, no, that's right. Ayumo is going to be your worst fucking nightmare. Next is going to be Big Daddy, and then it's going to be me. <laughs> All right. But as you can see, uh, this build, in all seriousness, uh, it fucks. It really fucks in the DZ. It was designed specifically to function in the DZ. Now, um... I'm pretty sure that I caught some uh, footage of us clearing landmarks in the DZ, and it's it's gonna it's it's definitely gonna help you carry uh, clear landmarks for sure, and it's it's prepared for whenever rogues want to come and fuck with you. Now, are you gonna be able to one v two, one v three? You know, depends on your movement, depends on your skill, but guaranteed, more than likely, you're gonna take one of those motherfuckers down because they're not gonna expect that 1.3 million health. Now, uh, Whiskey, why don't you let us know, uh, help us out. When you were going up against this build with the uh, damage to armor build, uh, how did you feel? Man, it was good up until the armor broke. When it, you know, then it gets a little lackluster on me, but definitely survivability on your end, you know, when your armor is still broken. So, if you see a lot of these guys walking around with those capacitor builds, well, guess what? We just helped you get a counter to that bitch. So, uh, yeah. Chino, any parting words? Very All true. right. So, weakness of this build, as with um, most builds that you'll encounter uh, when you're doing PvP, is that uh, once you're... Once you're fighting a firing squad, that is to say, multiple people shooting at you at the same time, just like any other build, you're really not going to survive unless you have godlike speed and reflexes and movement. Um, the most trouble I've encountered while using this build is when I'm solo and I'm fighting against three or four people. But even then, I'm able to take one or two of them down. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, during the stream today, um, I was able to take three people down with this build uh, because they, like I said, they don't expect all that health. They don't expect uh, you to tank that many bullets after your armor's broken. Um, and um, perhaps I got lucky, but the people that we were fighting earlier today, uh, when I had this build on, they were using SMGs. So they didn't really have a lot of uh, damage to health, you know. So um, that is another weakness of this build is uh, damage to health. So um, in order for you to survive and, and get close enough to do your damage and burst them down um, is to have really, really good movement. You know, so dance around. But them. that's, but that's yeah. why you have the AKM for your medium that's range. That's true. That's true. Um, the the other advantage of this build is that you're not particularly uh, playing, um, or you, you're not you're not building it for the weapon. You know, it's it's good to have the Ouroboros, but it's not uh, it's not essential. 
I mean, I would I would rock the Ouroboros for this build personally. Uh, but you know, you could have uh, you can have Lady Death equipped. Um, you can have an MP7 equipped. You can have a Vector equipped. Saint Elmo's. Saint uh, Elmo's. Saint Elmo's even. Yes, you can have the Saint Elmo's equipped. You know, uh, it's it's a versatile versatile build in the sense that you can use whatever weapon you want. You're you're not uh, you're not going to be bogged down by um, having to run a particular weapon because of the bonuses that you get from any particular piece because you don't have those pieces. You know, you don't have a Sokolov piece, you don't have an AR piece, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a Fenris piece, you know, so um, you could run whatever weapon you want. Um, so, but the key is just like uh, a lot of other builds is your movement and your skill, you know, so like Homeboy said earlier, this build is not going to carry you, you know, um, you'll need, you need to have the jukes, um, you'll need to have, uh, the movement and, um, the way it's, it's, it's set up, um, all the, uh, the red cores that you have, you know, you want to have enough damage, you know, you want to skirt that, uh, that, that gold lock zone of damage and survivability. So we present to you Tony Montana. Gmar? Do you wish you had this build? Yes. It's got oh, a lot of potential. Potential? Oh, potential? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. It's true. It does have a lot of potential because, I mean, here we are. We're only presenting the build. It's got a lot of potential. And uh, honestly, this is one of those builds where um, it gives what you put in. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what Facts. you're going to get out of it. Yeah, whatever you put into it, you're gonna get out of it. And exactly. uh, this this build actually is gonna have a lot of miles, right? Like uh, they'll they'll do a whole shit ton of fucking seasons. There are gonna be a whole lot of title updates. And let me tell you, this build right here, I mean, it's not meta, but um, up against those meta builds that everybody's trying to create against you, you'll you'll be prepared. You'll be prepared. It's like a Swiss Swiss Army knife of, of builds in terms of survivability. It's uh it's not an armor regen build. You know, I get it. Not an armor regen build, but it's and but it's not an uh all, all armor build, right? Where it's like all tank and you're shooting marshmallows. Nah, no, no, no. It's not that at all. It's a it's almost the most synergistic armor to weapon core build that you could put together right now and because everyone is sleeping on the health attributes uh health bonuses it, it's it's gonna it's it's gonna have some uh how could i put it? It, it it's got some endurance it's got some legs indeed uh, it's got some legs yeah i got a feeling that a lot of players are gonna start using this build and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Like I said, with uh, Future Initiative, uh, someone who's got some good heals, um, and uh, maybe one other support, this build right here is a beast. It'll be a beast. So uh, in a team situation, I would definitely want to have this build on me. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Can you imagine someone who has Future Initiative and vanguard and galvanize like mm. this would be a fucking monster because you're getting the damage from future initiative and you're getting all of that bonus armor from vanguard and galvanize yeah i'm just spitballing i'm just fucking spitballing <laughs> mm. so so yeah yeah definitely well homies as you can see this build Probably not for everybody, but it's got a lot of built-in survivability. Uh, we think you'll enjoy it, uh, and judging by the video, it'll carry you a little bit. Because remember, when it comes to 1v1s, I fucking suck. And as you can see, I was actually able to get through a 1v1 and actually a 1v2. And that's probably the first time I ever did that. So, yeah. Give it a try. 
Let us know what you think in the comment section. Till next time, homies. Peace.